Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we will see how we can organize the news post on SharePoint site. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center. So I will open one site with the name of org page in the new tab. So guys, uh, before we start our today's video demonstration, let me give you, uh, you know, the overview what we're gonna do on this video. So on this site, we have, you know, many departments, uh, users access like uh, marketing department, HR department, let's say for example. And I want to, you know, there are multiple news posts which are quite relevant to each individual departments. So uh, I want, uh, you know, when both the department users will access the site, uh, the news post which are relevant for them and which are posted by their department users should be, you know, categorized uh, with the category of HR and marketing on the same page. Uh, I don't want uh, any irrelevant news to come up uh, in the front of, you know, HR team, which was, which is posted by the marketing team. So in this video, we'll sequence uh, the news post on this, you know, the home page so that you know the users can of respected department can you know access the site and can go through the news post of their individual department so let's see how we can you know do that so uh, initially as you can see this is our you know uh, once will user will try to access the page this is the home page of the site and if you we'll click on add and both the department users have access to this page but if they will click on news post uh, they will select a blank news they will create it okay uh, they can give it a title maybe they will type hr in the title name let me also you know add one image okay and uh, they will enter any text if they want here to be all right uh, so the news post has been created so if i'll go back to my home as you can see that news post is coming up here in the hr now similarly if marketing department uh, user will create another new post let me quickly create another post Okay, so now as you can see, uh, both the both the news, uh, marketing and HR are you know coming up here. But uh, now we want to categorize them. So on a single web part, it is you know not possible to you know categorize the news post. So what we will do, we'll first of all edit. So I will select two columns, and here I will add another news post. Web. So this is the news post web part, and now we'll click on republish. So uh, first of all, we have created two web parts because we have two departments, one with the HR and one with the marketing. And these are the both the news post. So as you can see, uh, there is a mix of both the news post over here. So to categorize the news post, what we'll do, we'll go to site contents and all the you know news which are we which we are creating uh, resides inside the pages library. Inside the site contents, we have site pages library. We will open the site pages library. And here we can create one column uh, with which will be the choice column. We'll click on next. Uh, let's give it a name category. Okay, so we have uh, entered the column name category. I will give the choice name. The first choice name will be HR and another choice column name will be marketing. and we don't need any third column uh, so we have entered two choices hr and marketing and we don't want users to add the values of the co column manually so if you want to set up any default value you can you know select it from here and then there are some few more options like uh, you want this to be uh, you know the required this column contains information you can you know toggle this on and uh, rest we'll click on save all right so our column uh, you know is now created so since these are the existing page enter the value over here and we'll enter the value of marketing page as well now we'll go back to home all right uh, now uh, once now uh, what we can do like uh, once the user will cl click on add and he will click on news post he will select a blank we'll click on create he will give it a name hr2 so now once uh, the user will create you know hr2 post he has to create click on page details and below this there is an option of category so he can select hr and now he can post the news so once he will post the news 
if i'll go back to home you could see still uh, you know now these are my news post we i have categorized them but they are not coming up in the proper order so for that what we need to will edit the home page now first of all we'll click on this web part we'll click on edit properties so you can select the source uh, since, since uh, we this is not a hub site and any uh, you know hub site is not associated with the you know the normal site so we'll select we want the new source to be of this site uh, you can select the you know the type of title and command which you want to come up you can show you can you know toggle it up like how many news posts you want to see up show up in this web part you can also toggle the number of views you can show author you can show the first published date and now you can select the filter option this is the most important if you will drop down this menu you can you can click on page properties so you can from the drop down menu you can select the page properties so we'll click on category was our column equals to and we'll select you can see the hr so you once we'll select this hr and now you can similarly you know you can see now on this web part only hr news posts are coming up so in now we'll edit the similarly we'll edit this web part as well page properties and now in this we'll select the page property equals to the marketing all right and now we'll click on republish okay you can you could see it's not allowing us to republish the page because there is one required property uh, which is missing so we'll click on it okay so this this will be of the marketing category has been selected now we'll click on republish and we'll republish the page i will also edit the title of you know my web part so i will give it a name hr news and for this i will give it a marketing news okay now we can republish the page and now you know both the users can you know try to you know will come up on this page and similarly they can click on add and they will click on blank news create post you can randomly enter any name now all right now it will not allow you to post until you know you will enter the property so this is the best way like a user has to you know since we have done that column are required column so user has to come on the page details page and he has to select like it should be categorized under the hr or marketing so once he will select the category then he can you know post the page so once the page is posted you will go home and you will see the post which we the user has posted is coming under marketing news so friends uh, that's how we can you know categorize you know the multiple a news post based on you know the filtering and by this way you can organize the news post for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video